Ladies and gentlemen, and you, and you, and you, I have a story that's so amazing that if it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't believe it either. I saw the kittens for sale sign, and I went right inside. I knew there was something very special about this kitten. She had the stripes of a tiger, the spots of a leopard, a little tail like a bobcat, and she was reading a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the guy, I said, what's up with that? He said, you know what, she's probably just looking at the pictures and not really even reading. <laughs> I said, well, how do you know that? He goes, that's last month's issue. She's already read it. <laughs> I said, you have a cat that reads and you want to sell it? A reading cat's worthless. As soon as it can talk, I'll have something. Until then, if you want her, you can have her. I'll take her, I said. We're driving home. I looked at her. She looked at me. I smiled at her. She meowed at me. I put my little hand out and she put her paw right in the palm of my hand. And from that moment on, I decided to call her Stela because I never wanted her to leave. I'm close. <laughs> the next three months were blissful. She would sleep at the base of the bed. When it would get too cold, she would come up, nuzzle my ear, I would pull up the covers, she'd plop down beside me, pull out her little kitty flashlight and read herself back to sleep. <laughs> Sometimes it was a classic Broadway play, Cats. <laughs> and she'd meow that main line. <laughs> Sometimes it was Cat Fancy Magazine with stimulating articles like, is your owner feeding you okay? <laughs> and when is it okay to fake like you're purring? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So when she's eight months old, I knew it was time to start letting her go outside during the day. I knew this because she had taken her custom-baked alphabet dry cat food and spelled out the sentence, it's time to let me go outside during the day. I said, well, I'm not going to do that unless I know where you are at all times. So I purchased a special cat locator that's on her harness and her necklace and with this receiver unit. And with this, I can tell how far and which direction she is. Outstanding. Now I needed a little bit of improvement, so I had mine modified so she could answer back. <laughs> One beep was a yes, beep. Two beeps was a no, beep, beep. Three beeps was talk to the paw, beep, beep. <laughs> I'm not coming home. <laughs> <laughs> so one day I put the harness on and we went for a nice long walk. We came home. I went inside to make some lunch. She went outside to play in the yard. I had heard hawks earlier that day, but I didn't notice the very large predatory bird in the tallest tree in my yard. Caught it out of the corner of my eye as it dove straight for Kayla. I went running out, Stella, Stella, you okay? She was beeping me, beep, beep, beep. The hawk had her by the harness and was starting to gain altitude. My heart was sinking with every wing flap. Five feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet. Suddenly, Stella opened up her mouth and said, Let me down! <laughs> the hawk looked at her, eyes bugged out, dropped her right into my arms. Oh. <laughs> I said, Stella, Stella, you okay? You okay? And you can talk, after all. You can talk. But how come you waited so long before you said anything? And she said, well, you know, Doug, a cat may have nine lives, but we still only have one chance to make a great first impression. <laughs> 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 Meow, Mr. Toastmaster! <laughs> 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 <laughs>